Thank you. I, I didn't expect the band's men to notice my escape so quickly. I tried to hide here in the woods, but there wasn't time. And now I'm a dead man. You were there in Ostago. You know how things went. For me, it was either this, or die in some dark spawn's belly, or... or be hung as a deserter. You were there with the Grey Wardens, one of Duncan's new recruits. I was to guard the King. He was my friend, understand? Maker. All that time in Ban Loren's prison. And I couldn't stop thinking about all they suffered that one dark night at Ostagar. No, perhaps not. But I've been given the chance to set things right. If it's the likes of you who sees me to my final hour, perhaps things happen for a reason. The King entrusted me with the key to the Royal Arms chest. If anything were to happen to him, he said, it was vital I deliver it to the Wardens. The Maker has a sense of humor, doesn't he? I suppose it's for the best, however. Had I kept it, it would be in Ban Loren's hands by now. I was afraid. I thought I would lose it on the battlefield, so I stashed it in the camp. Please, it's probably still there. The key's behind a loose stone at the base of a statue. I'll draw a map for you, so you'll know where to search. If you have any survivors of the battle among your companions, take them with you. Their memory of the terrain will serve you well. I'm only sorry I cannot join you. It is vital that the King's documents do not fall into the wrong hands. As for Marek's sword, it is too powerful to be poured at by those monsters. Same for the King's other arms and armor. And... And if you happen to find Caelan's body, see it off. He was our King. He shouldn't be left to rot amidst the Darkspawn's filth. <laughs> I shall do it. As you say. Here we are, Soldier's Peak. Maker's breath. Look at the size of her. What a fortress. I told you the map would get us through the tunnels. It's just teeming with history. Can't you feel it? So, I'll follow you about from a distance. This place has the stench of death. I expect there's trouble up ahead. Some people call this place the Lost Peak. Before King Merrick's decree, the last Grey War... ...Wardens of Ferelden lived here. I just got chills. Fall back! Fall back already! Taking the peak will not be easy, my lord. I gave the Wardens one chance to die with honor. Instead, they hold up like cowards. We follow the King's advice, then. Starve them out. But the peak has months of supplies. Then we wait. When they are too weak to lift their weapons, we will send them to their final judgment. 
What was that? Felt a bit woozy there. I'm not mad, am I? You saw it too. I've heard a Norwegian ballad about something like this. A beauty trapped in a dream. In the song, Belisa never wakes up. Your prissy friend here is making me nervous, Warden. How's this even possible? The place must truly be haunted. Yes, Warden. you say.
The men's morale is low. My spells are of no use in this matter, Commander. There is more to leading men than sorcery, Avernus. I will remind them that they're wardens. Men! I won't lie to you! The situation is grim. Our forces outnumbered, our bellies empty, and our hearts are sagging. But we are wardens! Darkspawn flee when they hear our horns. Archdemons die when they taste our blades. So are we to bend knee to a mere human despot? No! I, for one, will never give up! I, for one, will never surrender just to dance on Arlen's gallows. So I propose here and now, in these hallowed halls where generations of our brethren stood vigil against darkspawn and evil, that we send a message to that fat bastard. In this sacred place, proud men, strong men, stood defiant and would rather die than submit to tyranny. So brave, even when starving. And my great-great-grandmother stood with them. Everyone knows they were banished, but to murder them like that. King Arlen must have been a monster, but I've gabbed enough. Lead on, my friend. It shall be done.
shall be done. The door won't hold, Archivist. Almost done. The, the truth must be told. What does it matter? We're dead. Our grand rebellion so close. And to die here, a, a stillbirth. We never should have done it. Wardens aren't supposed to oppose kings and princes. Should we stand idly by? Another one. Rebellion? What's this about a rebellion? If only the book weren't burned. But Sophia must have had her reasons. The Wardens are heroes. Some injustices just can't be ignored. We can only hope. 